Hello everybody, it's me Mr Sutton again, ready for your next lesson on plants for your science unit. Um, hope you're enjoying what we're doing so far, I hope your beans have uh, germinated quite nicely. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the helicopter, um, seed helicopter uh, investigation and you came up with a few different questions that you could ask yourself and found out what the, the answers to those questions were. Um, so today we are going to look at the life cycle of plants. Now you would have done this a little bit before in uh, previous years, but we're gonna look at it in a bit more technical terms based on what we know now about seed germination, uh, pollination and seed dispersal. So I'm just gonna start by showing uh, the lesson with you as always. And there we go. Sorry if you saw a little box come up there, I'm not sure if you did, but... Um, hit the wrong button so okay how do seeds disperse that's the first question for you today a little bit of a quiz so pause the video can you remember the ways that seeds disperse okay let's see if you remember now can you remember what these are again if you couldn't quite remember or if you did remember but couldn't remember which pictures which can you pause the video now tell me which one is which Okay, shall we see if you're correct? So we've got water is one way. And can you remember what the flower that we talked about was that did this? Yes, the water lily. Uh, fruit, can you remember how fruit is, uh, the seeds are dispersed with fruit? That's right, they go straight through the animals, don't they? And they come out in the feces, the excrement of the animals. Um, brilliant, wind, yeah. So daisies, for example, being able to, uh, dandelions, being able to uh, spread, they can. Um, I'm not always sure sometimes, like I say, I'm not the best person with um, uh, gardening. Uh, animals, how that work happens, those bird oxides get stuck to you when you're out walking sometimes. Now we didn't talk about insects, but of course that's another way that they could. And yeah, conquers rolling, for example, and acorns and things like that, that are able to stop, drop, have the impact and then carry on. So well done if you can remember all of those. Okay, so like I say, today we're looking at the life cycle of plants. What you're going to need, crayons, definitely, colouring pencils or felt tips and a large piece of paper today. Don't worry if you haven't got one. If you've got a smaller one, that's absolutely fine as well. But you're going to need something. Uh, for that. You're also going to need to be a pencil, pen, pencil and paper because we're going, as I'm going, I want you to stop the video and take notes of what I'm saying because you're going to need those when you come to create your post at the end of the lesson. So our key vocabulary, and as always, try to write these down now once I've gone through them all. Germination, pollination, seed dispersal, flowering, seed formation, growth. So write those down there. Okay, all written down? Good. Okay, so life cycle of a plant. So a plant starts off as a seed, as we've talked about before. Hopefully in your bean experiment or seed experiment, you're starting to see what's happened once that has started, but all plants start off as seeds. After a little bit of time, they start to germinate. And like I say, hopefully your bean investigation, you're seeing this. Um, Germination means they're starting to grow. They're starting to get larger. They're starting to come out of that seed and starting to reach down into the roots for those nutrients and also up towards the sunlight so they can get that as well. But the conditions need to be exactly right. Not always the same for every plant like we talked about before with the cactus and the fern, but they do need the right, those key ingredients in order to start germination. Then they start to grow. And hopefully some of your beans will look really, you could see them, the roots growing out now into that paper towel or kitchen roll and starting to feed down. Maybe you've been inspired by this and you've actually started to grow your own um, uh, plants at home and you're starting to see a bit of the growth that they're uh, producing as well. Okay, once they've grown, then into flower, okay? And so the flower, they then pol produce pollen and as a result themselves become pollinated. And we've talked about that. Pause the video. Can you remember the two ways that plants are pollinated? Well done if you said insects like our busy bee here and the wind. 
Okay, once they've been pollinated, then those flowers begin to produce the seeds. Okay, so they've got the pollen from another flower, the same type of flower to themselves. Um, they produce the male pollen. That's been rubbed off in the insect or carried in the wind. That's now reached this plant where it's mixed that pollen itself with its female productive uh, parts and is able to start producing a seed. And then that seed is dispersed itself and it starts off its own life ready to start all over again. Okay. So just to recap, we start off with life as a seed. Once it starts getting all the nutrients it needs, all of the key ingredients for life, then it starts to germinate. It begins to grow, growing roots underneath the soil and out. It starts, stem starts growing up towards the sun, sunlight. When it's flowered and ready, it will produce its own pollen. It will mix that pollen with uh, another, it will collect the pollen from another flower at the same type, and then it would start to produce its own seeds. And through those seeds formations, when they're ready, they can be dispersed. Can you remember the ways they're dispersed? Animals, wind, water. Uh, I'm forgetting a couple here. Uh, <laughs> rolling different ways of it being uh, obviously being dispersed depending on the plant. And once it's dispersed, that seed's ready to start again. Okay, so here is my version of the uh, life cycle of plants. You've got seeds, germination, growth, pollination, seed formation, and seed dispersal, and then it all goes around again. Mine's a little bit dull. We'll come back to that later, but look at this, and I'd like you to pause the video and draw exactly what I've written there. Okay, if you've done that, if you've paused the video and, and copied that down, then you should have no problem with this next task. Can you tell me what is missing? Well done if you said germination and pollination. Those two were missing and without them, the life cycle can't continue. Okay, what's missing now? Got three this time. Well done those of you who are saying growth. Well done those of you who are saying seed formation and well done those of you saying seed dispersal. Again, we need all of them in order for the life cycle of the plant to continue. Okay, like I said, mine is a little bit dull because I've done mine on PowerPoint and uh, I wanted to make it very simple and easy for you to see. What I'd like you to do then is take that piece of paper, those crayons, and I'd like you to create a much more interesting way of showing the life cycle of a plant. You can do it in a rotation like I've done here or in any way that you want to. You could do it as a cartoon, you could do it as a poster, any way you want. But make sure you've got those key parts in, those key six steps, and a little bit of explanation from those notes that you should have been taking while I was uh, going through the PowerPoint of what each process needs. Okay, so pause the video here, off you go. Okay, everybody, brilliant posters, brilliant. Uh, some of you there have got um, fantastic drawing, excellent vocabulary, I'm sure, from everybody as well. Um, and that you've got the, in, the reason why each part happens and why each part is important. So great, great, great job there. Okay, so for the next lesson then, we're going to see how water travels in a plant. And... I've actually got the experiment started already, ready to see, uh, to show you in the next lesson. Now for this, you're going to need definitely again, paper and pencils as always. If you can, and if you want to try this investigation yourself, go and get some celery and some food dye, and be very careful about food dye because it stains, um, and some water some jar as well, in a jar as well, because you can do this while I do it as well in the next lesson if, if, uh, if you want to. Uh, don't worry if you don't know because you'll see what I'm doing and uh, you'll be able to comment on it there. So I hope you enjoyed that again today. Um, go get some celery if you've got some. Don't worry if not, but we're going to find out what happens and how water travels in a plant together in, in the next lesson. So thank you and I'll see you next time.